Hello, I'm Bood, and welcome to episode 5 of my beta series on FM21 with my beloved, mighty Manchester United. As always, thanks for joining me in the office today. I really do appreciate it. So make sure if you're enjoying the series and you're still watching, you hit the like button. If you're brand new, feel free to subscribe, stick around for this series and all the new content that should be coming out over the next few months. Um, we've gone over the halfway point of the season for a few reasons. You'll find out why. But I'm having a lot of fun playing it. Loads of fun. Too much fun, really. Uh, I cannot wait to get more and more into this game. Different teams, different saves, different levels. I'm very excited to play more FM. Um, I'd love to know how you feel about the game. Although it is a beta, I'm expecting it to you know, have a few tweaks, but I'm happy with it. Um, anyway, I hope you're happy. I hope you're safe and I hope you're well. And I hope you settle down with a brew or a beer this weekend. And you're going to catch up with some United with me. Loads to get through, so let's get into it. Right, let's uh, address this first. It's the screen size. So, um, I've never seen this before, but some of you thought it might have been the resolution. It's not the resolution. You can zoom in and out. So, for some reason, mine was zoomed in. Now, I've, I didn't know that was a thing. I've never had to do that before. Every time I've ever played Football Manager on this computer or any other, it's just been like this. So, I have changed the, the zoom so it fits everything in like my normal games do. Um, it's just took a bit of adjusting because I've got used to the writing being bigger and I'm getting old and I was like the words have gone smaller you can actually zoom out that far you can't see a thing don't know why anyone would want to do that let's catch up on the football and the group stage was brilliant perfect six wins out of six games in a group of Atletico Madrid Hoffenheim and Copenhagen so the two teams I expected to come out of it did um, and I really want to do well and we've gone to we did well last year, but then we've got Bayern Munich, uh, who beat us over two legs. Didn't beat us at Old Trafford, though. But they were the current champions of Europe, weren't they? Um, well, it ain't going to be easy, but we've got a tough ask. Although, to be fair, I've just played the first leg just about 10 minutes ago. Um, it was the last game I played before today's live comp. And we're coming up against a good Barca team. I mean, they've bought Mbappe. That front three is pretty scary. They've still got Messi, Griezmann, and Mbappe. Um, but we battered them 3-1. We played really well away from home as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Haaland, hat-trick. One was a penalty, um, but I think we thoroughly, thoroughly deserved it. Really, I mean, stat-wise, it's pretty even game. We're just better at finishing. They brought Messi off and brought Fatty on. Um, so, yeah, really happy with that first leg. Good start. Over to the FA Cup, and we've played two games so far. We came up against Luton in the first game. I'm going to be honest with you, right? Played loot and beat them 7-0. And the game crashed. It just froze on me. And I don't I know it's a beta, so I'm not too angry with that. But I haven't had a game crash on Football Manager for years. FM20 never crashed, even on the beta. FM19 never crashed on me, even on the beta. FM18 never crashed on me. Seriously. So I was a bit taken aback by it and I was a bit devastated. Luckily, I only lost one game. We replayed it. We won it. 2-0. But 7-0 was amazing. Onto the fourth round and we played Middlesbrough away. Didn't beat team this. Things are depending on who I'm coming up against next. Um, I've been giving guys games in the league and the cup. I've not I've not said, right, B team, you're in the cup. A team, you're in the league or Europe. I've really mixed it a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I've focused. But I've mixed it. Um, and we beat them. So we're going through to the fifth round to play. League One's Mighty Pompey. Portsmouth, the team. I'm going to bring my rebuild series back this year at some point. I will definitely be doing Portsmouth. They are just aching for a rebuild, in my opinion. Former Premier League team, FA Cup winners. Um, so if you're a Pompey fan, well, look out for that. So I'm, I'm going to beat team this probably, and I fully expect us to go through. Let's just go straight to the league table before I show you any results, because it's been amazing. I've really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. The, the signings we've made this year fit in. The options I've got are top quality. I can ch chop and change and mix and match. And we are a dangerous team. We're not perfect. But, you know, things happen. Um, that new guy for City is a top goal scorer. But I've got... I'm playing a lot of guys in different positions. Martial's played most of his games on the left wing as an inside forward. We've got three best players in the league, which is absolutely fantastic. Two of them are my fullbacks. So when you've got two great fullbacks like that, I'm bombing it down the sides as well. <clears throat> you know, you're always going always gonna to do well. So just played Arsenal recently. And beat them 4-0 in the league. You'll see that. So that gave us a bigger cushion. And we're now 10 points clear 
Liverpool kind of took a step back. City took a step back. City have got a new manager. They've brought in Zidane, which is interesting. Liverpool have got Klopp still. Chelsea have got, is it Allegri? The old Juve boss. It's Spurs. Now, Spurs were shit last year at the beginning, remember? Then they came back. This year, they were shit again. They were down in 17th at one point. They've sacked Jose Mourinho, replaced him, and then decided to play us, didn't they? On our unbeaten run. Managed by an ex-City manager, Manuel Pellegrini. This new look Spurs team came out of nowhere. New manager, n you know, new freaking drive. And give us our own defeat of the year, beating us 4-1 at their place. So, fantastic for them. They've got great players. They've just been crap. So, you know, I was a bit taken aback by this because up until this point, I just felt untouchable. I felt like we were too perfect. Brought us back down to earth. Now, last time I saw you, we were playing in the Charity Shield. So, since then, I've ploughed through a ton of games uh, and a lot of league games. And as you can see, it's gone pretty well apart from the Spurs game. Uh, loads of good goals, loads of clean sheets, loads of fantastic football. I am loving the match engine. I hope they don't change it because it's really, really good. And um, drop points against Bournemouth. Fair dues. I did kind of beat team that uh, leads. I cannot beat. We drew with them twice last year and they nearly beat me in this game. We had to come back to get rescue a draw. So Leeds are good on here, you know. I mean, they're fair play to them. They are good. Can't beat them. Uh, drew with Chelsea, beat off Spurs, and then we've dropped some points against Man City, which was a bit annoying. But they've got a new manager, and that's like real life, isn't it? Teams, teams are doing average. You get a new manager, and things change. Now, they've also decided, and this would have been the club, to sign someone on a free, and I contemplated it. I talked to his agent. He was willing to come. I went to the contract section. He was willing to speak. We could afford his wages. But I just didn't really feel like I needed him, and I just felt like it would bring drama. And then City signed him on a free when his contract runs out at the end of the season. Yep, Neymar. he would be joining Manchester City in the summer. Not a bad replacement um, for the Kevin De Bruyne, I suppose. It depends how he fits in. Um, but they've also signed someone else in the January transfer window for a lot of money. In fact, they signed two players, two young English players. One of them was Jack Grealish. They spent £80 million on him. And a few days before that, they signed Declan Rice for £95 million. So, you know, good young English players, fair dues. England's going to have a lot of United in the City players in the team. So, you know, new manager Zidane. Let's see what happens next year. But City could be a fighting force again the following season. So, of course, we had a great defence last year and they're even better this year. Miles ahead of anyone else. Um, Wolves were up there, fair play. So, you know, like I say, building from the back has been fantastic. But it's when we go forward, the intricate play, it is something else. And that shows because we're top of the goal-scoring charts. Don't get me wrong, Arsenal aren't far behind us. City up there. A lot of good players in this league. It's Liverpool. We were neck and neck for the good first 10 games and then they just kind of tailed off a bit. I don't know why. But they have. Um, and then Arsenal came out of nowhere. And they weren't far behind us. But after beating them, I don't know. We've kind of just got a bit of a gap on them now. 10 points is a lot. And I'd be, if we didn't win the league this year, I'd be massively shocked. Bit of a random one for you. But um, <laughs> I'm not bothered with me under 23 staff at the minute. I've not paid too much attention to that. So I leave them to sort their own staff out. You're the manager of the under 23s. You sort your own staff out. Uh, and he brought in a new assistant for himself. Mr. Roy Keane. I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. So Roy Keane's back at Old Trafford. It's not working with me though, thank God. Do you know what's crazy though as well? Is how well we've been playing. You know, top of the league, beating everyone, apart from Spurs. And I've only won one manager a month. I find that insane. Is what it is though. Um, I think someone different has won it recently until Arteta has come out of nowhere. And uh, I'm going to be facing him again today. Because we are playing them in the Caribbean Cup final to the end of life. Come, we're going back to Wembley. Why not? Um, I didn't intend to go for this, but if you get to the final, go for it. Um, I've beaten every game, apart from the Chelsea game. Um, De Gea was injured, so a few players sneaked in like Williams. Um, but then we've beaten Fulham over two legs, and now we've got Arsenal in the final. Like I said, they've got Arteta still as manager. He's pretty good on it. They've got some very good players. They signed Donnarumma, 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 Chameleon. Him. Uh, on a free. You can get him on a free, apparently. Um, someone said you should go goal for him, but didn't need him. Before we get into that, though, let's look at the squad arranged by average rating. And, I mean, you could probably tell if you look at a lot of these, there's a lot of guys getting games. Even if I change this 
Now, I want his Palestra up a bit. He's probably a bit of a spare wheel at the minute, but he's had a lot of injuries. Give him a game, gets injured. He's having a bad, he's struggling. Cavani, he's 35. He does a job, but whenever I can, I've been giving Mr. KL George a game. Now, someone asked me in the comments, how did I get a work permit for him? I don't know. A lot of factors come into play, don't they? How much, what kind of squad status you're offering him, what kind of wages you're offering, that can push a deal through. It happened for me. If it didn't happen for you, then I'll try again. Um, I mean, Rashford, he's had an injury, or he'd probably have played a bit more. And these are my B team, but if you look, they're, play, they're making a lot of substitute appearances. Uh, Axel Rose started the season at the back, was doing very well, tailed off. Maguire's come back in, now he's unhappy, but it is what it is. Memphis Depay, look, 19 subs, but he's such a good squad player. Uh, Giovanni Reina. Now, I did say he'd become English in real life, because he's English in real life, he's born in England, in Sunderland. Um, because I read an article on it, apparently that's wrong, and he's actually played for America now, so he's, he's stuck his allegiance to America, but he has it on the game, he's become English on the game. One other factor someone was telling me is in real life he's just signed a new contract for four years, but on the beta he hasn't done that yet. So that's how I picked him up on a free, but I reckon when the full game comes out, you won't be able to get him on a free. You have to try and buy him, but he's been a cracking little player in the middle as a backup. Uh, Henderson's got a good few games, so I've not got anyone really moaning. Apart from Axel Rose, I've managed to balance the books somehow. But if we back, go back to average rating, Tellez, Juan Basaka, brilliant. Bruno Fernandes has been brilliant. Greenwood's been brilliant. This is the usual the usual boys, you know what I mean? We've got a goals, Haaland, 25 goals. Insane. Also, if you're an England fan or you're English like me, you might want to know this, but Sean Dyche has become England manager. Southgate got the sack. Uh, and I like that idea of that. I think he'd make a great England manager. I like him. Proper English. I think he's a beast. Uh, and it's something I'd like to see. Because at the minute, who, who else is he? Really? I don't want to get a foreigner in. I think if Southgate goes, he'd definitely be up for it. Um, so I thought I was quite cool. And yeah, the England team, they're looking alright. Six in the world. They'll probably win a World Cup. They're usually doing football manager. Now then, I talked about under-23s and... They were amazing. They were great last year. They won the title, as you can see. Um, they started off a bit slow this year. And they were like fourth, miles behind. I'm talking like 12 points behind Wolves. But they're starting to catch up. I mean, six points. That's doable. So I'm hoping they can do well. I mean, Mr. KL, George, you'll see he's got a lovely little face now. Um, he's been scoring loads. Um, so we'll see what happens. Maybe if we get Palestri back, because he's been injured most of the year, he can help. But I want this. I want strong under-23s. Because I like promoting my own players. Like I said, I might play this save personally. Uh, maybe do season updates. We'll see how it goes. So I like building for the future, man. We're also doing very well on the European stage in the International Cup. In a group with Arsenal, they produced good young players, Dortmund and Bayern. And they topped it. So can't really ask for much more. One last thing before we get into today's game. I'd love to know. Please write in the comments. Have you took your tactic over? from 20 to 21 because this to me is working way better don't get me wrong on Manchester United but I don't know if it's a new match engine because the football is different and very good so I'll be interested to see what happens when the full game drops I might have to tweak it a bit but I would love to know I'd love to know is your tactic got better or worse here we are and we're at Wembley we're in the changing room and the team sheets have just come in and um, Arsenal changed the goalkeeper I mean two strikers are very good some good players some good players but I personally think we're better and we absolutely tore them to pieces in the Premier League can we do it again I hope so could be nice to win a trophy as much as I don't really care for the Carabao Cup we're here now want to win it don't want to lose it maybe we could be looking at a bloody quadruple or at least a domestic treble so let's get some silverware builds confidence and I want a trophy so here we go Arsenal kick off we're playing in our perfect kit of red shirt, white shorts, black socks. My favourite. That's what United is all about. Um, but like I said, we've been playing really good football. <laughs> but you never know what's going to happen in a live com. I just mean, even like games where we've gone 1-0 down. I've really found on this year's game, I'd, I have personally. And again, I'd love to hear your thoughts. The interactions, like the shout outs seem to work. Like... Even hard time bollocking, we've come straight out and scored, or I told them to freaking focus, and they have, or I fired them up when they really need to get an ass kicking, and they've gone and equalised, or even got that winner. So, 
I mean, it's been really, really good. The only time we fell flat, really, is against Spurs. We've got an absolute ass kicking. That was it. Even them games we drew, we should have been winning. We've absolutely dominated them. Um, but this game started off a bit not too clever. Um, Wan Bissaka has got a bruised shin. Not really what I want. I've got Williams on the bench. He can play left back or right back. He's played mainly as a as a backup right back this year. But yeah, we're not far away from the full game coming out. And when it transfers to a full game, I might carry this on. Depending on how successful we are at the end of the season, I might even end it on YouTube uh, as a proper series because I just like doing different teams. I want to try a new thing. It's a new game. I want to stay in England, maybe. It may be even in the Premier League, but go to the opposite end. Pick a team in the Prem that relegation favourites and go in with my tactic and my philosophy and all that crap and see what I can do just try the different end of the spectrum while the game's new and fresh um, but for now yeah I'm a bit surprised here we normally create a lot of chances so we'll see what happens but here's Tellez great player on here oh beautiful ball perfect oh, brilliant wasn't it come on you red boys buzzing don't want to lose uh, but yeah, Arsenal, I'm, I was surprised because we were second in the league and catching us and catching us. I was so surprised with how much we kicked their freaking ass in the league. Really, it really was. Where you go, Haaland. Now, he is a good, good player. He has the odd flat game, but he can't be perfect every game. Come on, man. Come on, look up. Don't know what that was, but I think we're going to keep hold of that ball. I do want to mention Undidi, this little dude here. He does exactly what I wanted. does exactly what he says in the tin. And he is absolutely brilliant at it. Juan Basaka, piss poor that mate. Maybe it's his bruised shin. But look, getting that ball back, going at him, keeping the ball, passing one two. He does say to me quite a lot. Our long range passing is shit, but our little close range passing can be pretty special. But in Diddy, I really wanted someone who's young, exciting, and just does that basic boring job. He'll just sit there, breaks up play, gets a tackle, gets a ball, gives it to Pogba, Fernandez, or one at wingers. That's all he does. And I love that about him. Whenever it comes to him, it's first time away. Or just basically the defensive midfield role. He was that I like him. I've had him on older games. Um, but he's been brilliant for me. Brilliant signing. I think he's been a bit of a game changer. Like a silent hero, really. Someone you don't think about because he doesn't score goals. Don't take people on. Doesn't play exciting football. But he's a key piece. Do you know what I mean? So there you go. RXG is better. But it's, I mean, normally I'm getting like one, two, three. Dominating games, possession wise, pretty equal. We're passing better, and we've got the goal. It's got to stay focused. Right, here we go. Second half. Um, and I love this. When I first saw all this, you've got to get your head around it. I love this. Like I've said, the only thing I think they need to change is that. That's it. That's it. I like it a lot. Really, really do. Right, second half's not been that exciting. Always like that with 1 0. Always. You never know. Uh, I think I might make some changes because some people are. Looking a bit tired. Okay, I've made three subs, but they're not taking effect yet. We've got a highlight here in the rain in London. But where we go, Ramos. When I first saw that, I thought, I haven't signed Ramos. But it's uh, Luis Felipe, or whatever his name is. It's Greenwood. Oh. So I've changed me two wide men. Uh, we've got Marshall and Depay have come on. And uh, Van der Beek has come on for Pogba. All performance related, really. But that's what's been great. There's been games when my front three aren't working. And I've got a new front three on the bench. So I'll bring Depay Martial on. Uh, and Rashford. Or something like that. And we'll just change the game. Which is exciting. I love that. I think United should have them kind of options in real life. But we'll 18 minutes to go. And this Arsenal team can still score goals. We know that. But there's Undidi doing his job. And then tripping up. But I'm happy with that. Fernandez getting a tackle in. We're hard to beat, you know. We are. But here they come. Here they come. They're not giving up. They want this. Can they get it? Oh, good little pass. Can he get the ball in the box? No, he's put his head in the box. Is anyone going to give it a whack? Anyone? Anyone? This is scrappy for Marcel now. It's getting scrappy, but they're just trying. They're not stopping. But they can't do it. Right, five minutes of injury time. Come on. It's not been the most exciting live con for them guys at home. For you. I haven't been the best cup final. But can we win it? Here's Martial. Finds Bruno. For Donny. Now, this is what we do. Have you seen this little light? I think it's called... Is it the Gengen Press we kind of play? These little pass, 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 pass. And we just carve our way up through teams. Here's Donny the Bruno. Oh, Bruno. <laughs> that was beautiful. Well, there you go. We finished that in style, didn't we? With a super strike. And we get the graphic for the second time. 
this year absolutely buzzing this is an improvement can't ask for the best ever graphics but i quite like this are we going to lift the trophy anyone there we go lovely little carabao cup buzzing proper trophy in it it is in it well i don't know what i'm going to do i was planning on doing three episodes a year i think it all depends on where we go we're still in the fa cup we're still in the champions league i'm on course to maybe win the premier league although look at the last two games <laughs> that's very interesting so we'll see i might do we might have another cup final episode a little cheeky one we'll see right there you go that is the end of the episode as always thanks for joining me make sure you smash that like button subscribe if you're new and even become a patron if you really want to do me a favor hopefully you enjoyed it um winning a trophy it's all good even if you're not a united fan thank you for supporting this series um but i can't wait okay so again i think we could do wonders this year imagine i win everything i'm just retiring i'll definitely quit then but again thank you i hope you're happy and safe and well especially in these troubled times with bloody freaking covid coronavirus it's getting us down hopefully we can all see our families at christmas that's what i'm hoping anyway have a good one stay safe i'm booed i'll see you next time